The U.S. president may visit the demilitarized zone on the Korean peninsula next month in a bid to send a message to North Korean supreme leader Kim Jong-un. Speaking on the visit, a U.S. military official said that Trump is most likely to send a significant message to the North Korean regime during the visit. Trump has been constantly engaged in a war of words with Kim Jong-un, trading insults and rising tensions between the countries. Only recently, Trump has said that diplomatic efforts with North Korea have consistently failed and only one thing will work. In retaliation, North Korea has issued a World War III warning to the United States, telling Trump and his administration to prepare for total destruction. Earlier in his debut speech at the UN General Assembly, Trump had threatened to totally destroy North Korea if it threatens the U.S. or any of its allies. Trump went on to describe the North Korean supreme leader as a rocket man who is on a suicide mission, to which Kim Jong-un responded by calling Trump a mentally deranged dotard. Meanwhile, North Korean hackers are believed to have stolen hundreds of classified military documents from South Korea. The stolen data includes detailed wartime operational plans of Washington and Seoul. A report in prominent South Korean daily Chosun Ilbo quotes lawmaker Ri Chul Hee of the ruling Democratic Party as saying the hackers have got their hands on South Korea's plan to decapitate North Korean leader Kim Jong-un in case of a war.